Okay, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline and imported an image that I'd like to overlay onto the video. Now, let's begin by right-clicking your V1 track and expand the sequence commands. Hover over Tracks and select Add Video. Now just drag your image onto the track above your video on the timeline. And I'm just going to drag the end of the image clip so that its duration matches my video. Okay, there I have my image on screen, but it's missing its transparency and it's way too big. To fix this, let's go over to the VFX tab. Click the plus button to add a new effect and make sure you're in the DVE section. Then drag the 3D DVE onto your top clip, which should be your image. Right away, I'm noticing that I got rid of my white background, but these black bars remain. To remove them, let's expand the crop settings. Then drag the left and right sliders to crop the black bars out of the frame. Okay, now the easiest way to change the image's size is by hovering over it and then dragging any of the corner handles. And to reposition it in the frame, just drag the square in the center of your image. Finally, to rotate the image, go over to the Z rotation and drag this line in the circle to rotate it however you'd like. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial, so thanks for watching and see you guys next time.